Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about a few things related to a trend and a trading method that we do most every week in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is called Thursday Flipping. Now, we are on the verge of a massive week in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is because of the great promotion called Black Friday. So I want to talk about a few things today in terms of Thursday Flipping. Are we going to do it this week? Is it going to be profitable? And are there are there going to be ways to basically make coins um, from rewards this week? I want to talk about that kind of stuff in this video today because I know a lot of people like Thursday flipping. It hasn't been the most successful trading method or, or trading um, way to make coins this year at all times. It's been kind of hit and miss depending on the week. And I think this week is going to be one of those miss type of weeks, especially with the Black Friday promo. I myself... I'm probably not going to be buying any cards um, for Thursday flipping. I, I don't think I will. And if I do, I will talk to you guys about those cards right now and what those cards would be. With everything coming with Black Friday, people aren't buying. You can see that on the market right now that in terms of these informs, in terms of these, even some of the meta cards in the market, a few people have started to buy a few cards. Like Neymar is like probably the most in-demand card on this game in terms of how many people have asked me, yo, when's the best time to buy Neymar? So many people are going after this card. I've seen this card go up a little bit, just kind of like a fluctuation. He's up like 20K, maybe 10K right now. Um, so, but overall for the market, people just aren't buying. Informs are down. A lot of gold cards are down. Just a lot of people that know about Black Friday are not buying cards because they know what is coming this weekend and a lot of price drops, a lot of price changes on the market, a lot of things being impacted because of, of Black Friday. And also the uncertainty of what is Black Friday gonna look like in terms of what cards are gonna be in packs and um, what EA is actually gonna do with this promotion. So that's the biggest questions and that is exactly why I don't think I will be investing this week for Thursday flipping, but I will talk about a few things now before we get, I'm going to talk about Black Friday investing type stuff towards the end of this video because um, after the Thursday flipping stuff, after we mentioned that, I want to kind of speak about that some, some of that stuff as well. So Thursday flips this week, if you're going to buy any card to flip, if you want to go for it, if you want to take the risk, there's probably still going to be some people on this game that go and buy cards after they get their rewards on Thursday because it's just simply the fact that some casuals and some people that play this game on a weekly basis and they play weekly for the rewards, they just might not know that Black Friday is coming or they just may be in their normal usual routine and they're going and buying cards. And obviously, if there's not as many people doing Thursday flipping, which they do every week, there might not be as many people that are actually going out and uh, buying up these cards to sell them which actually might make the cards move a little bit. So if you know what I'm saying with that, um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be buying though as well. So you can make the case that yes, there could be some movements on the market. I do think there are going to be some small movements in terms of flips, in terms of cards that will move a little bit um, this weekend after rewards. But I think a lot of people are honestly, a lot of people in the FIFA community might be saving their rewards and especially for people that are in the know, people that know about Black Friday and they understand the promotion, people are just going to be opening their packs and selling whatever and getting their coins uh, because they know that Black Friday is coming and they don't want to be losing coins on stuff and they want to buy prices, buy cards at lower prices. So I don't think we're going to see a ton of buying, but if there is any buying anywhere on the market and if it jumps at all anywhere, it's going to be in a couple different areas. And some of those areas are going to be out of packs cards, um, like maybe some of the cards that you saw in the thumbnail of this video. Um, Inform Ben Yedder, Inform Tellez, some of the two most popular cards in the game uh, for their position, for their nationality. Tellez right now, I think, is like at 130K ish. He's right around 130,000 coins, 125. That's actually a deal. I'm going to buy that. Never mind, it hasn't been expired. So that was actually a deal with the shadow right there. But this card's chilling around 130,000 coins. I could very easily easily see it being like 135, selling at 140 uh, in the next day or so after weekly rewards. I think that is possible. Do I think it's a guarantee? No, um, but I think it is possible. 
if this is going to stuff, if, if stuff's going to go up this week, it's going to be these out of packs in forms that rise every week. I want to look at Ben Yedder. I mean, this is literally a card that shoots up every week um, because of how hyped up he is and how much people want to use this card. So, two ninety nine for Ben Yedder, center mid. Uh, was that actually like a deal at all? Not really. Not really. Not too much of a deal. Pos position change, one K undercut. But um, if, if there's anything that rises this week, it's going to be those. But I just don't think that Thursday flipping across the board is really going to work that well for us this week. Maybe some out of packs golds from whoever gets in the team of the week rises a little bit. But I don't even want to focus on that, man. For most of you guys, what I would say is don't even touch any of these cards for Thursday flipping. Wait to see what we get on um, Friday or on Thursday at 6 p.m. UK for content in terms of maybe some pack supply, maybe a loading screen for Black Friday, maybe some information on Black Friday or something like that. So I do assume that we'll get some sort of SBC on Thursday because it's Thanksgiving in the United States, which is a holiday. And I do think that we would get some sort of we, I think we got like a Thanksgiving SBC before, like I, I believe so. I didn't do any research on that. I'm not entirely sure, but I think we've gotten some sort of like Thanksgiving SBC in the past. Not sure if that's true or not, but it's, I feel like I've done one that was like Thanksgiving. So I think we'll get some sort of SBC on Thursday and hopefully some information about Black Friday. Now, the one thing that everybody is doing, people are still doing these right now in this game, the base icon packs. If you want to trade with anything other than those informs and you want to look at any other area of the market after rewards, I would tell you to look at some of these um, high rated gold cards because technically for a lot of these cards right now, they're kind of low today. As you're maybe watching this video, we had a pack supply SBC on Tuesday of Champions League. Maybe we get another one on, um, on Wednesday today. So that's a possibility for uh, an increase in price. On some of these cards after rewards you could see um somebody like a casemiro or i think i just got him for like 25 and he sells for like 28 listen for 20 28 000, get a couple thousand coins right there gg but people are still doing a lot of these sbcs like i mean if you look at some of the price of these cards they fluctuate a ton whoever gets into the solutions fluctuates a lot and since these cards dropped a ton today that shows me that there is potential for these cards to um, be traded with and to be um, invested in during the rewards period. Because look at what we see over here on Footbin. I'm gonna take you guys over to Footbin and show you a graph right now of uh, the index, the index 85. I'm gonna show you the index 85 graph on Footbin. This is what happened today. We got the pack supply SBC today, 6 p.m. UK. A lot of these 85s got low and they're actually still low. But what we see a lot of times with these cards is when they get supplied, you know, maybe Casemiro, like we're looking at Casemiro now in Footbin, uh, and it shows him at 27,000 coins at the moment. I just bought one for 25. Casemiro was 30K at his peak. When you look at the fluctuation graphs, daily graphs on Footbin, he hit 30K at one point. Um, it just depends on who gets in the solutions. And these guys will all get in the solutions at some point because they're, um, they're good links, they're good nationalities. And they're going to get that rating. So people are still doing still doing the icon, the base icon upgrades. That means you can trade with the fluctuations on these cards based on how they get in the solutions. Just look at graphs and they're going to get supplied on Thursday. So if that's something you want to buy at rewards on Thursday, you could look into some of the 84s, 85s, 86s, and 87s because people are going to get their weekend league rewards and they might go out and do an SBC. Somebody who's got maybe 200, 300,000 coins gets their weekend league rewards. They get another couple hundred thousand. They have some untradeables in the club. Uh, or maybe somebody with 500K just needs a, that extra push to get them to that base icon pack that they've been trying to get. And some of the people doing rewards this week might be just waiting for that last push uh, to get them that uh, enough coins to do the base icon pack. So that's one thing I wanted to mention to you guys as well. Look out on some of the snipes and some of the bids on some of the SBC fodder cards. I would say if you're looking to buy during rewards, look at the 85s and 86s especially because those are going to get packed less than the 84s and the 83s would. Um, and uh, they're still going to be needed for SBC. So maybe check out the 85s and 86s during rewards for some SBC fodder flips. Uh, get on the bids after rewards as well if that's something that you're interested in. If you want to do at all any sort of Thursday flipping 
this week. Now, I want to fo- focus on Black Friday a little bit more and kind of talk about some of the ways that you guys might be able to invest your coins on Black Friday. We're going to have a couple other videos on this, like Black Friday investments, but I wanted to kind of start this one off today with some Black Friday investments based on out of packs special cards. And we're going to go take a look at a couple examples over here in Flippin right now at the moment, as I set up the price graphs. Um, based on some of the cards that got into best of team of the week and some cards that did not get into best of team of the week that were out of packs in forms that were very, very desirable on this game. So last year, Black Friday, these cards were put back into packs. I'm looking specifically at Alexandro right now. Very used left back. He was the best left back in the game. Juve last year had a lot of hype, especially with Ronaldo being there. Ronaldo had the right side link to Cancelo once he got the cards. Um, but uh, people still put like Ronaldo at center mid or they somehow would link Alexandro to maybe like a Matuidi or some other card in the game. Alexandro was a very popular left back just because he's Brazilian as well. And this card was put back into packs during Black Friday. You could see right here his price drop. So this card went from 263K down to two under 200,000 coins on Sunday, 192,000 coins. And it rose right back up as it went out of packs. These cards, the best of team of the week last year, were only in packs for four days from Friday to Monday. They were only in packs for a short amount of time. You can see that he hit his lowest on Sunday, weekend league sell-off time, and he rebounded right back up as a very popular and a very meta card in this game. Out of packs informs. I technically classify this as an out of packs inform because he, he is out of packs, but he got put back in to best of. Um... So I still count him as out of packs. These are the types of cards that you could make really good quick flips with on um, Black Friday in a couple different time zones, t- couple different time areas. First of all, this card was super duper buyable right away when the packs were dropped. What you don't see on Footbin is what happened on Friday. It shows his Friday price is 235. What actually happened was his price went down almost under 200K from being 263. His price almost went under 200K right away in the first hour or two from everybody panic selling and packing this card it was in, as it was in packs. And right after that, his price rose back up to back over like 220, 230,000 coins and just over 200K. I think it was actually like 220, 220 um, because people needed to buy those cards back or they thought it was just way too low or they needed him for weekend league. And he was much more available and still very sought after and used. So he dipped really low right away and then came right back up. That's the first time zone. For the cards this year that get into best of team of the week, basically these cards from last year, but this year's edition, even if it's scream cards and road to the finals, depending on how hyped the card is and how used it is in FIFA, those are gonna be the cards that you might be able to pick up a quick flip on. Now, you're only gonna to wanna to do this with an Alexandro if you have probably over a million coins or at least like 800, 900K because you could buy a couple of them and then flip them in a, in a couple hour period. Again, that first window that I'm just talking about is when the cards come into packs, basically the first two hours of lightning rounds, they're gonna go down, they're gonna get packed, they're gonna get panic sold. Then they're going to rise back up in the three to four hour window after that as people go and buy their weekend league teams and snatch up all those cards that they've been waiting to buy for their teams during Black Friday. So that's the first time frame where you can invest in these cards. And then again, you can see that the second to last day he was in packs Sunday, he reached an average price of 192 during the day. And then he rose quickly out of packs after that. The weekend league sell off after Black Friday is a fantastic time to actually go in on cards you're gonna think it's crazy because some of the cards that you're buying maybe it's an icon that went from 1 million before black friday um and he's up to like 1.2 over the weekend back down to 1.1 still buying at that 1.1 price after black friday if it's a desirable usable icon he might go to 1.3 that next weekend it's just crazy how um, everybody buys all these cards, they sell them off after weekend league, and then they go and buy stuff right back after that. And they just go up even higher. And it, a, a good example right here is with Van Dyke. Van Dyke was hit a low price. He dropped from 340 to 262 on the actual day of black Friday. He was not re-released in packs, by the way, he was not a part of this re-releasing team of the week cards and packs. He was just panic sold 262,000 coins. Saturday, he goes to 285 and then Sunday sell off. He's back down 
under 280, 278 average price. If you bought then, you would have been in the money big time. Two weeks later, actually this the week later, the next weekend, 327 on Friday, um, as his card price went up a bunch uh, because of because people wanted to use this card. Very popular, very meta, and one of the best cards in the game. So we're talking this year. Basically the same informs that I'm looking at that could rise possibly a little bit this week for weekend league rewards are some of the most desired cards uh, in the game in terms of inform wise. I'm looking at uh, Timo Werner. Obviously this card with the Nabry SBC, you saw him move a lot in price. He's like 210,000 coins right now, 207. That is pretty low for this card. I mean, after weekend league next week, you might see him uh, like this coming Sunday after Black Friday. You might see him at like 215, 220,000 coins. After on Saturday, he was like 240 or 250. But if he doesn't get into best of team of the week, this would be the type of card that you can invest in um, as an out of pack special card that would be fantastic as a riser as he's popular he's used in a lot of teams and stuff like that so i want to right now actually go through a few fifa 20 cards that i think would be good to look out for and kind of look at criteria for what types of things you might want to invest in as a black friday investment um either in the panic selling on friday morning um before the promo or like when the promo comes out and there's panic selling because of everything that's going on and then you sell later friday night or buying on Sunday, like the two windows that we talked about a little bit earlier in the video. So let's look at this team of the week right here. Team of the week nine. Of course, it depends on who gets into best of team of the week and who doesn't. I think Lewandowski would be in. Messi should be in. Tellez could be in. Nine Golan could be in. Robertson could be in. But all of those guys that I just mentioned would be perfect guys to buy um, in a panic sell before, especially Nine Golan. His informs are always super rare. And he, if you're using a center mid in the Serie A, he is definitely up there. Or CDM, really great card in this game. Tellez is one of the most sought-after cards, again, on this game. Robertson, best left back, one of the best left backs in the Prem. Even uh, Ricardo Pereira as a budget right back in form. Um, that's the kind of card you could see boom after Black Friday. Kyle Walker would be a good one. Timo Werner again, as I mentioned. Honestly, Delict as well. I'm surprised to see this card price go up, his price go up so much. I honestly think it's a dynamic image. But this could be a card that you see dip back down to like 30,000 coins and some panic selling. That would be a great card, I think, that would go back up um, during Black Friday. A good investment, again, you're going to look for meta, you're going to look for good links, and you're going to kind of think about what kind of teams are people building in this game. Fabinho is huge on my list. If you look at some of the most popular used players in the game, we got a PG, PGP, player performance, player game performance. If we sort by the most games played on FIFA Ultimate Team, Fabinho's gold card is almost 3 million games played. The number four used card on FIFA Ultimate Team. A lot of people are going to want to upgrade to this inform Fabinho with the dynamic image and with the boosted stats during Black Friday when they open packs and get coins in their club. From doing that, this is a card that I could see booming after Black Friday, over like 210, 220,000 coins, I don't think is anywhere out of question at all. Um, as one of the most popular, one of the most linkable, and one of the best CDMs in the Premier League, aside from Conte, um, this is kind of your guy from the Prem, in my opinion. That's what a lot of people use. So that's that card is very high on my list. Scream cards as well, I think, are a great shout. Again, look at the guys that are very hyped, very popular. Um, Firmino, Gamero would be decent, Insigne would be good, Adama Traore would, would be pretty good. Um, and then uh, so the, from the first set of Scream cards, Otamendi for sure, um, Bernard, absolutely, Ro Magnoli, yes, I think, Deli Ali would be a, a solid one as well. Just make sure you focus on those meta, very usable and sought after cards as well. And remember which team of the weeks are rare. Of course, some of these Team of the Weeks, we had a lot of pack supply during promos or when they were just... There was a time earlier on in this FIFA where EA was dropping pack supply SBCs all the freaking time. And this Wijnaldum was not supplied very much except for one pack supply SBC at the very end. And you, as you can tell, he went to 144 and then he went to 172. Almost to 180 one weekend. Two weekends out of packs. He's back now down to 140. I could see this card being at 160, 170 again in a couple weeks after black friday so that's a good one uh digne is a solid one i like some of these later team of the weeks 
just because of the the rarity that some of them have um Ducore as well i mean a lot of these guys didn't get supplied they these guys got supplied by the bundesliga league sbc that right away these cards were very cheap first day but they're still pretty rare ben yetter's inform is pretty rare Ducore is a good one nine golden's a solid one very rare card so some of these team of the week cards that i've been mentioning um there's a lot of good ones out there they're going to rise out of packs or, or not they're going to rise after black friday of course they're already out of packs if they get in packs um for best of team of the week we'll just have to see how long they're going to be in packs and how meta and how usable and how often they're going to fit into people's teams in this game before we kind of decide and say hey this might be a good out of card out of pack or um best of team of the week investment depending on which cards get in hopefully they tell us what's getting in sooner rather than later i want to see which cards are getting in if they're going to include screams if they're going to include road to the finals that would make the market go crazy and uh that would be fun i think some people would lose coins some people would make a lot i hope that we as a community you guys that watch these videos would be able to make a lot from videos or from cards and from stuff like that that ea does put out i'll be here talking about all that stuff here this weekend as we get the actual information coming out to us in fifa again thursday flipping this week i'm skeptical i'm skeptical i'm very very skeptical i would say stay on the safe side I would not really invest for it. Um, if you want to mess with some stuff, maybe mess with some of these SBC fodders because people are continually doing the icon, base icon upgrade SBC because it is juiced. I mean, a lot of people are getting good pulls from that SBC and that's why people keep doing it. That's why there's still continuous high amounts of demand for that SBC. And then again, start to kind of wrap your mind around which informs you might want to focus on for some Black Friday um buying like you know i talked about Werner, robertson we look through all those team of the weeks go take a look through team of the weeks yourself and think about what cards you honestly a good way to measure what cards are meta is think about what cards you come up against in weekend league you figure out what kind of cards you come up against in weekend league those are the cards that a lot of people are going to buy and the cards that you hate playing against those are also the people you you want to buy because they're good in game that's kind of how it works as we pick up another sale Deli Alley for 227. I bought that at 205,000 coins. That is some cheeky profit. We will take it. GG. G freaking G. If you enjoyed this video today, boys, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions down below, drop them down there. I'll get you guys some answers to those questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.